Hey guys, welcome back. This video will be for my 21 week pregnancy update. I apologize if it looks like the camera is looking down at me. Um, I was having a lot of camera issues last week and um, this last week my brother-in-law actually so graciously came out and put together McKenna's dresser um, and so I'm using that to help stabilize my tripod so that's why it's angled down a little bit more so hopefully it's not an awful angle um, and you guys can still see everything okay so anyway um, as far as symptoms this last week I did feel like I had a lot more to talk about and then when I sat down to put everything together I forgot a lot of them so uh, I guess pregnancy brain could be included in those symptoms um, I have been having increased heartburn at night I have had to get up and take Tums a lot of nights to be able to go back to sleep um, I tried sleeping elevated like laying on the couch and kind of sitting up against the back part of our sectional but that actually doesn't help anything so I've actually um, just been taking a tum or two at night to get rid of that um, I am noticing I cannot sit or stand for extended periods of time without back pain so even sitting for five or ten minutes if I'm not in a very good comfortable position even sometimes if I am um, I'll have to get up and stretch for a minute and then go back and lay down or whatever. So laying down is definitely not an issue, but considering that I am up and down a lot at work and our office chairs are nice, but they're not super comfortable, um, that's been kind of a pain at work. And I wear basic flats, which I know I should buy more supportive shoes, but finding them in a comfortable shoe is, and not a shoe that looks like, uh, like a grandma shoe. I know that sounds bad, but most of my clothes for work are a little bit more trendy and so I don't like to have shoes that don't really match with my outfit. I know that's superficial but still. Anyway, so that is something that's been a little bit worse this week. Um, I've had a lot of stretching is what I guess it would be stretching or, or uh, round ligament pain. I don't really know the difference between the two honestly but I have been feeling a lot of stretching and movement. Um, I don't feel her move quite as much as I was before which I think was just because of where she was positioned. Um, I do have the forward facing placenta, which I can't remember what that's called. I, want to, I think it's anterior. And so the ultrasound technician said that that can actually cause us to not be able to feel it as well, or for me to not be able to feel it as well. Um, Dan has not been able to feel her move yet, which kind of sucks because I was hoping by now he'd be able to. Um, but otherwise, from symptoms, that's pretty much it. Oh, I did have one thing happen um, this last week that was slightly terrifying, but now that I know what it was, um, it's, it wasn't then, but anyway, um, I almost fainted when I got to work on Monday morning. I was leading one of our meetings and, uh, I was standing up and I sat down on the floor very quickly. I got very lightheaded. Um, I didn't see black or anything like that. It made me very nervous. Um, less than five minutes it passed. I mean, it passed in like 30 seconds, but within five minutes I was able to stand back up and, um, go back into like our meeting. So... Then about five minutes later, it happened again. I drank an entire bottle of water after that um, because I thought it might be dehydration. And so I called my sister-in-law and uh, she said the same thing. She said, yes, absolutely, that sounds like dehydration. And I know that over the weekends, I don't drink enough water because I'm very picky with water, which I know again is superficial, but um, so I don't have like a water filter at home like I do at work. So I drink a lot of water at work and then not nearly enough at home. So with it being a Monday morning and then after being home from the weekend um, and being home from vacation where I probably didn't drink as much either, um, I expected it to be from dehydration. So um, I was nervous though because that is one of the signs of severely decreased blood pressure. And since we just upped my medication at that time, it was 10 days prior, I was a little bit nervous. Um, I called my doctor and she said she was not concerned that it was blood pressure. She was sure that it was dehydration because I had not been drinking enough, but she told me if it happened again to give her a call or stop in the office and they would check my blood pressure. And luckily, um, today is Wednesday. It has not happened again. I have not been lightheaded at all. And I've even taken my blood pressure medicine um, like a little earlier in the evening than I would and gotten up and down a little faster just to test it and see if maybe that's what it was. And I don't think it's related to that at all. I think it was a one-time thing. So hopefully that is the end of that. Um, as far as highlight this last week, I'm um, definitely getting the dresser put together was a great highlight for me. Um, I was so thankful that my brother-in-law came out and did that for me. Um, he works like seven days a week 
just like my mom does and um, this dresser was broken down into pieces to where the rails weren't even on it so it took a solid four and a half hours and he had it done in one shot um, he said he would help us this weekend with putting our crib together which is what the box back here is because we sure weren't gonna get both done at the same time um, I also did a little bit more organizing in here you can see over here this bag is stuff my best friend gave me that I hadn't got a chance to go through and I finally got a chance to look through everything there it was super cute there's a ton of bigger summer clothes that I just love I can't wait for her to wear um, so that'll be nice and then um, as far as baby buys this week uh, I have a few actually so I'll show those to you now I do have a few things I bought I'm not going to show here though um, that I was excited about because I was shopping for Megan and Steve's online baby shower. So my friend Megan over at Smarty and Steve-O, if you don't follow her, definitely should. They're a riot to watch together. Um, but their online baby shower is in September. Since she lives in Canada, I was playing around with her registry to help figure out like how easy it was to shop from, give her some feedback, and I ordered a few things for her. So I'm going to be sending those up to Canada here in like the next week or so. So I won't show you those because she will show them in her video when she makes that for that. However, I do have a bag here of things to show. So first, I think I mentioned these in another video, but they hadn't come in yet, was um, I have a couple more diapers that I ordered from Zulily. So I've had some bad luck with Zulily lately. Um, I love all the baby stuff I've ordered from them. These diapers are like a steal. Coming in at like six and seven ninety nine for diapers that are normally 20 bucks a piece is just awesome. But anything that I've bought from them, Okay, I shouldn't say anything. Anything I've bought from them that's not clothing or something like this has not been good. Like, with this, I ordered a pair of maternity underwear, which I'm not going to show you guys. but And I also ordered a um, necklace set with it, too, that was rated as, like, a plus-size necklace sec uh, section, which meant that it was longer. It had, like, a two-inch chain. I kid you not like this. And it was just bulky plastic. So, that was kind of disappointing. And then I've had the same issue with some shoes that I bought from them. So... I don't know that I'll be ordering stuff like that anymore, but I do still highly recommend that if anyone's cloth diaper, you may check it out. Um, this one is a different brand than I've ever ordered, and I like it because it's not, you can tell this is waterproof, but it's not vinyl. Um, I, I almost can't explain what the material is, but it's a little softer than vinyl, so I like that. Um, but just like all the other ones, it is an all-in-one. This one is a pocket. And you can actually add more to that pocket and it comes with an additional insert um these two are from the same brand and from jungle Roo, which i've bought from before so this one's just plain brown nothing fun on the back and this one is brown with a sunflower and then this one is pink with a little blue owl this one's my favorite of these three um so those came in i want to say like monday or tuesday of uh, this past week um, I have organized so far that blue cart you can see behind me that's in her closet is all her cloth diapers um, stashed so far and we have more than I thought we did so I think we might be done with the all-in-ones as far as what we need to order um, but I definitely still want to get some more pre-folds and inserts so those are on my registry. Oh, I also had ordered this at the time I filmed my last video but it just came in today. This is so cute. I've showed you guys all the bows I've bought, um, and I've told you guys before about the shop, Bows and Curls, um, on Facebook. It's B-O-W-S, little squiggly line in, the letter in, and then the squiggly line curls, C-U-R-L-Z. And Erin um, is the shop owner, and she's just phenomenal. Um, this bow has got to be one of the cutest things I think I've ever seen. Um, the little saying on there says, my fort, my rules. How cute is that? Um, and so I got this for, that came in today, which I was really excited to open. Um, and then last, well not lastly, but close to lastly, um, we went to the outlet store here in St. Louis um, last weekend while we were on vacation still. And my husband's favorite brand is, is Ralph Lauren. He buys a lot of their polos, wears them to work, um, has been wearing everything Ralph Lauren for as long as I've ever known him. So we peeked in there, and I, in previous videos I've shown you guys some of the stuff he's found at TJ Maxx that were like Ralph Lauren polo onesies. Well, this time Mama got a hold of the baby clearance section, and uh, Daddy was perfectly fine with it. So um, all of the things I'm going to show you that are from polo um, combined were 50 bucks. So you almost couldn't buy this much at Carter's or Oshkosh or anything like that, sometimes even Walmart for 50 bucks. 
so I wasn't upset with the price at all and, and like I've told you guys in previous videos I don't want to buy things that are super expensive or brand name just because they are um, because to me that's just a waste of money because God only knows how long she'll wear these um, this is one of my favorites it is a little dress um, romper style it has the little sewn in legs like a onesie and this is in a 24 month I tried to buy things in a little bigger sizes if they had them because I know people tend to shop for babies in the small section uh, I loved this so they only had it in a six month so I bought it in a six month and I don't even care I just think it is the cutest little um, white shirt like I just I think this is adorable uh, this one daddy really likes this one was a 12 month and this one's just a little long sleeve t-shirt with little buttons in the back um, this one was also one of daddy's favorites because he has a polo in these exact same colors that he will be able to wear with her which I'm sure we will use for some pictures at some point but this is in a nine month a little ruffled t-shirt and then both of our favorites from the whole haul is a size so 2T um, this was probably the most expensive of all the things I bought but I loved it and we both did so we got it anyway it is a little polo with a popped collar with all different colored um, horses I don't know if you can see how well you can see that I can cover my face but um, so yeah those are what we bought from polo our last baby buy you will have to go to Instagram to see a picture of because I will not be filming it but uh, there was a lot of conflict around this in determining if this was the best decision for us but we did trade in my Prius and purchase a Nissan Rogue um, for this space so I think I had mentioned it might have been in one of my videos or on Instagram I'm not sure that there was some concern that I had about space um, I've got obviously the car seat and stroller right here so I know how big they are and I know how little my car is and how much space we took up in it um, and I just didn't feel like we'd be comfortable my husband dif uh, disagreed with me he wanted to keep the Prius and he felt like we'd be fine um, and then the more people that I talked to that have had kids um, that have had smaller cars my sister-in-law included just felt like it was a really smart decision to get a bigger car um, my husband kind of felt like it was a downgrade I guess which I don't feel like it was but um so anyway there was a lot of disagreement I guess around whether or not that was the best decision but I'm hoping that it ends up working out being a good decision for us in the long run um, but anyway if you want to see a picture of it I have posted one on Instagram so feel free to check that out there otherwise that is it for this week and I will give you guys an update next week have a great evening